The man who put Jordan Neely in a chokehold on a New York City subway car last week leading to his death has turned himself into police. Daniel Penny is now charged with second degree manslaughter. This following protests and outcry from activists who've been calling for justice ever since Neely's death more than a week and a half ago. Fox 5's Linda Schmidt joining us live from Lower Manhattan with more on what comes next. And Linda, I know we heard from Penny's attorney and we also heard from the Neely family today. What are both sides saying? Yeah. Yeah, good afternoon, first of all, to you there, Chris. Yeah, and they are both saying exactly what you would think they would be saying. They are just basically reiterating their positions that they have already spoken about in the past week. One side saying it was self-defense, the other saying that it was not. Now, Penny is facing second-degree manslaughter. What that charge means here is that he did not intentionally cause the death of Jordan Neely, but he did instead act recklessly. Go ahead and take a look at this video because this is from a short time ago. Penny taken out of the 5th Precinct in Chinatown this morning and he was brought right here to criminal court in Lower Manhattan. The Marine Corps veteran who is 24 years old now facing the charge in the chokehold death of Jordan Neely on the F train which happened 12 days ago. Now witnesses at that time say that Neely was using threatening language toward passengers and was acting erratically. He had had a long history of drug and mental health issues, homelessness and had been arrested more than 40 times, including for assault. Now, his death sparked multiple protests around the city, demanding that Penny be charged in Neely's death. Well, now that has happened. His lawyer spoke today with reporters, and they maintain that Penny was defending himself and others, and he did not intend to kill Neely. Shortly after 8 a.m. this morning, Daniel Penny surrendered uh, at the 5th Precinct at the request of the New York County District Attorney's Office. He did so voluntarily. He's dealing with the situation, like I said, with the sort of integrity and honor uh, that is characteristic of who he is, characteristic of his honorable service in the United States Marine Corps. Uh, and, you know, he has had, all, had uh, held up. Mr. Penny, do you have anything? And the lawyers for the Neely family also holding a news conference that wrapped up about 20 minutes ago. Here's what they had to say. So should Daniel Penny be charged with manslaughter? Absolutely. Because he acted with indifference. He didn't care about Jordan. He cared about himself. And we can't let that stand. That's not who we are. That's not who we want to be. So we thank you for coming out. We thank everyone that's raised a sign, that's raised their voice, that made a post. And after uh, Daniel Penny is arraigned this afternoon, a grand jury will be hearing evidence in this case. And if this case does go to court and if he is convicted, he faces up to 15 years in prison. Chris, back inside to you. Wow. All right, Linda, thank you very much. We appreciate it.